turning one thing into another. It was a place where people used to stand and wait. Well, now they're standing up to give. Yeah, leave what you can, take what you need. A teen's transformation helps to transform his community for the better. Tom Bosco helps us to highlight the helpers. See this little building behind me? In its first life, it was a shelter keeping Michelle Mock's kids warm. Now, in its new life, it's keeping her neighbors fed. Those who have never seen a little shed like this on a country road may not know it's a homemade school bus shelter. When you live, unfortunately, on a busy road in the country, you never know when the bus is coming. But on South Section Line Road, just outside Delaware, this one has a new life. It is now a pop-up pantry. Michelle Mock set this up on her front lawn with help from her friend Amanda Bird and with her son Lucas. The Buckeye Valley High Schooler had been working on a project on food insecurity for school, but coronavirus dragged that to a halt or did it right now this is the project inside the pop-up pantry canned goods and even a fridge that had hams and turkey for folks to make Easter dinner with there's so many people that are out of work right now that don't have paychecks right now that this is new for them there are people here all day every day and in the middle of the night as well Mox says all are welcome to take what they need and to leave what they can just as the motto above the door says. In Delaware, I'm Tom Bosco, ABC6 News. Hi, Bob Kendrick along with Station uh, Ken. Thanks for checking out the WSYX ABC6 YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more Central Ohio news, click on the right to subscribe to our channel and download the WSYX ABC6 app for breaking news alerts. And we'll see you on ABC6 News at 5, 6, and 11. Thanks for watching.